In this video, I have, I have explained the working and wiring of an AC blower and resistor and its measurements. Like over here, I am measuring the resistance of uh, the blower motor, which is approximately 1 ohm. As you can see, similarly, I am also measuring the resistance uh, of a resistor, which controls the uh, motor speed. At about speed 1, it is approximately 3.7 ohm, and at the speed level 2, it is about 2 ohm. Similarly, at the speed 3, uh, it is about 1 ohm, equivalent to the motor resistance of 1 ohm. And at the uh, for speed 4, definitely there will be more, no resistance and directly connection. Similarly, I am measuring the volts, running volts, it is about speed 1, it is about 3.6 volt, 5 volts, and at uh, the speed 2, it is about 5 volts. Similarly, uh, at the speed 3, you can also check the volts, but uh, at speed 3, it will be around 7 volts as you can see now at the full speed that is about 4 when we select it will be around 11.5 over here uh, but it is actually 12 volts now the running ampere you can see running ampere are 2.92 at speed 2 it is about uh, 4.76 ohm amps and uh, similarly at the speed 3 the running amps of blower is approx 7.89 amps uh, and at the full speed uh, there is a maximum speed it is uh, the motor uh, the blower motor takes about 13.45 amps this is a maximum uh, ampere current that is being drawn similarly you can calculate the voltage of of the motor here's the uh, wiring diagram uh, uh, it's a simple wiring diagram of a blower motor and blower resistor uh, now here over here is a detailed diagram you, you can see the various connections of uh, selector switch with the resistor and relays and AC switch with the battery and also the compressor uh, keep in mind that a negative ground is always connected to uh, uh, the LNM now now we are it's, uh, now we are looking the wirings of the dial selector over here you can sp see the speed 4 wire is black and white similarly uh, there are there is also a permanent ground supply over here speed 4 wire is there similarly adjacent to it is the speed 3 wire and also the speed 2 wire now this is speed 1 wire now when we turn on the switch now that when we turn on the power now give the supply the blower relay takes sound you can see and this relay is power supply power is supplied to the relay and the blower is turned on but we need to select uh, the speed as well now uh, i have been facing a little difficulty now fan start at speed one now change the speed now first of all we will select the speed two over here as you can see i can feel the speed maybe you can hear that uh, now this is the speed two and now we'll change to the speed three as you can see <coughs> now speed three is selected a little fast airflow now full speed speed four now this is the full speed now this is how the selector switch wiring connections work as you can see now this is the wirings of a dial over here okay now now let's see the placement of the resistor it is under the glove compartment as you can see and it's in between the airflow uh, from the blower to the condenser coil and this uh, resistor heats up a lot and could affect the ac's performance that's my concern over here as you can see that the resistor is placed between the condenser and blower is blower and get cooled by the air conditioner now the temperature as you can see it is about 80 goes to approx 86 degree uh, centigrade which is far too much now the solution as i can see is the uh, is using the pwl pwm speed motor control as you can see this uh, uses the switching mechanism that uh, we will install between the blower and uh, as you can see it will be placed like that uh, 